not so fast, Mr. Sawit. Hey, boss. <laughs> Mia, I mean, Chief. Listen up, right? Don't throw this one away. Not like this. Think. But, Chief, it's over. I can't prove the clock was slow the day of the murder. Nobody can prove that. Uh, well, yes. But that doesn't mean you can't still win. Try thinking out of the box. Don't waste time doubting facts. Assume the clock was three hours slow and think through it. Ask yourself, why was the clock three hours slow? Figure out the reason, then you'll have your proof. Right, right? Can you think of a reason as to why the clock would be three hours slow? Yes, because she was in Paris. Wait! Maybe I can prove it. You must have evidence somewhere that can prove it, right? Find it, let him have it. Whoa, well, Mr. Wright! You say the clock was already running slow on the day of the murder. Have you found evidence to support this claim? This music's good, by the way. Good 90s uh, Capcom music. Or maybe 2000. Of course! There's a piece of evidence in the court record that can prove my claim beyond a doubt. Ha! Stop for it! Let's see you pull this one off! Let's see this evidence that proves why the clock was running slow. <laughs> the victim had just returned from home from abroad the day before the murder. As we all know, the time difference between here and Paris, uh, Paris, Paris, is nine hours. When it's 4 p.m. there, here, it's 1 a.m. the next day there. The clock wasn't three hours slow, it was nine hours fast! The victim hadn't reset her clock since returning home. That's why the time he heard was when she struck her dead in her apartment was wrong. Proof enough for you, Mr. Soy? Or should I say, Mr. Did It? <laughs> oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> order, order, I say! Well... This case has certainly turned out differently than we all expected. Mr. Payne, your witness. He, um, he was arrested and has been taken away, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. I have to say I'm impressed. I didn't think I've ever... I don't think I've ever seen someone complete a defense so quickly and find the true culprit at the same time. Get used to it, Your Honor. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. At this point, this is only a formality, but this court finds the defendant, Mr. Larry Butts. Not guilty. Who brought the damn confetti? And with that, this court is adjourned. Turns out that Frank Salt was a common burglar. He posed as a newspaper salesman to check and see when people were out of the house. That day, when Larry went to her apartment, the victim wasn't home. After he left, Mr. Salt let himself in to do his dirty work. While he was searching her place, the victim returned. Flustered, Mr. Salt grabbed the nearest blunt object he could find. August 3rd, 2.32 p.m. District Court, defend defendant lobby number two. Whew, I still can't believe we won. <laughs> right, good job in there. Congratulations. The thanks, Chief. I owe it all to you. Not at all. Not at all. You fought your own battles in there. It's been a while since I've seen the trial, and on such a satisfying note. I've never seen the Chief looking this happy. <laughs> if she's this glad, imagine how Larry must feel. <laughs> My life is over! <laughs> Larry, you're supposed to be happy. What's wrong now? Aw, oh, Nick. Don't worry about me. I'll be dead and gone soon. Good. Wait, what? No! I mean, bad! Bad, bad, bad! Larry, you're innocent. This case is closed. But... But my Cindy Windy's gone, man. Gone forever. Uh, Larry, she was a... <laughs> no, never mind. She was a haw, Norman. Congratulations, Harry. Uh, Harry. Yes, you. I 
second practice. See the headlines now. Harry Butts Innocent. <laughs> yeah, oh, thanks. I really owe you one. I won't forget this ever. Let's celebrate dinner, movie, my dream. Oh, no, I couldn't. You're far too big a loser. <laughs> hey, I was the one who got you off the hook, asshole. <laughs> oh, hey. Here, take this. It's a present. How did you get the murder weapon? A present for me? Wait, wasn't this evidence that... Actually, I made this part for her. I made one for her and one for me. Really? You? You made this? Well, thank you. I'll keep it as a memento. <laughs> oh, look who it is! Are you announcing yourself as a whore? Or are you just showing up the yellow word and leave? <laughs> Yo, Nick! Can you believe it? I was so into that chick. <laughs> and she was just playing me for a fool. Meanwhile, she's a gold digging woman using rich guys for money. This guy doesn't have a pot to piss in. He hired me as a lawyer. Doesn't that make you want to cry? Stop. Harry. Are you so sure? Excuse me? <laughs> Yes! Fair enough. Fair enough, sir. <laughs> I think she knew quite a lot of you in her own way. Nah, you don't gotta sympathize with me. It's okay. Oh, I'm not just sympathizing, really. Isn't that right, right? Don't you have something to show your friend? Something that proves how she felt about him? Huh? Oh, yeah, right. Her diaphragm. No, wait. What the heck is she talking about? Check this out, Larry. Proof positive you weren't just some chump to her. Huh? What about that clock? This is the clock you made for her, stupid. <laughs> and she took it with her when she traveled. Whatever. She probably just needed a clock, that's all. You think so? It's a pretty heavy clock to teach traveling. Well, make of it what you will. Hey, Nick. I'm glad I asked you to be my lawyer. I was gonna ask my cousin, Vinny. <laughs> really, I am. Thanks. Hope that made him feel a little better. Right. I hope you see the importance of evidence now. Also, hopefully you realize things change depending on how you look at them. People, too. We never really know our clients if our clients are guilty or innocent. All we can do is believe in them. And in order to believe in them, you have to believe in yourself. Aww. Right! <laughs> Listen, learn, grow strong. Never let go of what you believe in. Never. Well, I think our work here is done. Shall we be off? Yeah, I guess so. Say, how about dinner? On me. We'll drink a toast to innocent butts. Yes, mommy. <laughs> Oh, speaking of Harry, you were saying part of why you became a lawyer was because of him. Uh, yeah, part at least. You'll have to tell me more about it sometime. Maybe over drinks. <laughs> I've seen this before. And so my first trial came to a close. Larry slapped me on the back and said, Gee, Nick, gee, Nick, it's good to have friends. I've got friends places. But I'm pretty sure he's not going to pay us unless you count the clock he gave me. I didn't know it then. But that clock was soon going to be at the center of another incident. And my promise to tell the chief about me and Larry would be one promise that I wouldn't be able to keep. Dun dun dun! The end. Dot dot dot. Question mark? Oh. I don't remember this game having this kind of format. Swear the game just saved, but okay.
Okay, cell phones were a thing. Hello? This is Maya. <laughs> hey, Maya. It's me. Mia! What's up? You haven't called in a while. <laughs> Sorry, I've been so busy. How have you been? Well, lonely. And it's all your fault. Nah, I'm just teasing. I've been great. I'm finally getting used to having my own place. That's good to hear. Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. I know, I know. You want me to hold evidence for you. Sharp as always. There's a lot of buzz about this upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. I gotcha. So, what is it this time? It's a clock. A clock? Yeah, it's made to look like the statue of the finger. And it tells you the time. I thought you might like it. You always like toys. Hey! I'm not a little girl anymore, sis. Now, now. You know I'm only teasing. Hello? <laughs> oh, you want to get the hello out of the way later. Okie dokie. I should probably tell you, the clock isn't talking right now. <laughs> huh? It's not working. That's lame. I had to take the clock work out. Sorry. I put some papers inside it instead. <laughs> papers? Is that the evidence then? Hmm. Well, there's a possibility that it might turn out that way, yes. Can you come by the office tonight? Say 9 o'clock to pick it up? I'll be in a pre-trial meeting till then. With Phoenix. Baka wow. Okay, sis, but I expect dinner. Something good. Like, burgers. I could really go for a good burger. Okay, okay. We'll hit the usual joint. All right, it's a deal. Okay, sis, see you soon. Yep, I'll be waiting, Maya. Conversation recorded. September 5th, 9.27 a.m. September 5th, 8.57 p.m. Fay and Law Company and Office uh, Law Offices. Now, Miss Fay, I'll take what's mine, the papers. I'm sorry, I can't give you what I don't have. Miss Fay, I, you are a poor liar. Just <laughs> give it Darth Vader voice. Why, I see it right over there. That must be the thinker that swallowed those papers. How could you know? Ho, ho. You are not coniferous of my background. Cogniferous. I also can't fucking read. Gathering information is my business, you see. I... I should have been more careful. Ho, ho. My dear Miss Fay, I am so very sorry, but I'm afraid I must ask you for one more thing. Your internal silence. Farewell, Miss Fay. Nani! Really? Red, white, blue. They killed her off already? I thought I thought we actually got a few trials with her. September fifth, nine oh eight PM, Fay and Law uh Fay and Company Law Offices. Uh oh, I'm late. Huh? That's strange. Guess the chief left without me. She said her sister was coming over so we could all go out to dinner. Threesome? What's that smell? <laughs> oh, oh, no. Blood? Oh, okay. Mia! Maybe she's in her office. Alright, I guess we're gonna just move. That smell! <gasps> Sis! Someone's there? Chief! 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 Who are you? This strange girl dropped out cold. I left her lying on the office sofa. I went back to the chief where she lay under the window. Her 
Her body was still warm. Damn it, Phoenix, stop touching her. I could feel it when I held her shoulder. Then, all too quickly, it began to fade. Until finally she was cold. Okay, creepo. Chief. Let's examine. <laughs> Chief. It's hard seeing her like this, but if there are any clues here... She was struck on the head with a blunt object. She probably died instantly. The thinker lying next to her must have been the murder weapon. There are some glass shards near the chief's body. Must be a piece of the glass nightstand. A uh, light stand lying broken in the glass uh, back of the room. Nothing else that seems like a clue here. Hmm. A piece of paper? It must have fallen from me as Anne. What could it be? Was that there before? <laughs> A word is written in blood on this scrap of paper. Maya. Did me write this? This piece of paper is a receipt from a department store. Dated yesterday. I think that's enough snooping around for now. I better call the police. Yeah, you think? And find out what that girl was doing here. Nah, it's not really ironic, dude. Oh, all right. The other thing had check marks, so I don't know why she didn't have a check mark. The chief's chair, a simple, functional design. Feels pretty good to sit in, too, especially on her lap. <laughs> ba ding! The butler did it! It's possible. I didn't... <laughs> that guy could have been a butler. It could have been Alfred. The girl just now, where'd she go? I put her right there on that sofa. I'm really bad at this. <laughs> Uh-oh. I hope she didn't run on me. I need a drink. Oh, no, she just appeared out of nowhere. <clears throat> Don't scare me like that, you potential murderer. Um, excuse me, but who are you? Don't you fade again. It's okay, I work here. And I wasn't totally just touching your dead sister. <laughs> Maya. Maya Faye. Maya Faye. Maya. So Mia was writing this girl's name. Maybe I should show her the receipt? I never thought there'd be a use for evidence like this outside the courtroom. Before Mia died, she wrote a message with her own blood. She wrote it on the back of this receipt. Okay, you might... Um... Okay, maybe I shouldn't have done it. That's my name! Why? Why would she write my name? Please just calm down. But why would she write... Why would sis write my name? Uh-oh, now I've done it. I'd better hurry up and call the police. Yeah, I know. I was just telling you I'm a real lawyer. <laughs> um, about the thinker. The thinker? That was... Oh, sis! <laughs> uh, probably shouldn't ask her about the murder weapon. Oh. This was right next to the chief. I know, I saw it there too. I thought they might be pieces of the light stand. Hmm, maybe. Never heard of a glass light stand before. She seems to be in shock. I don't want to disturb her, but I have to know. Uh, excuse me? Can you tell me what happened? I came in, the room was dark, and sis, sis! So she was already dead. So, you're the chief's sister. I'm the youngest sister. <laughs> if you were here... And you were here visiting this late at night? Yes. She said she wanted me to keep some evidence for her. Evidence? Yes. It was that clock. It was the thinker. 
About the thinker, the thinker, that was, oh, sis, um, okay, sorry, okay, I, whatever. <laughs> I usually, Jesus, I'm, I'm a receptionist? <laughs> a small rating desk cutter with office supplies. You couldn't cram more wheel books in here, even if you wanted to. I know it's on my Stephen King bookshelf. Few can gaze upon the shelf without feeling insignificant. Door next to the sheet's office, slightly open. I better not touch the doorknob. No shit. Even though my fingerprints are probably all over it anyway. A large painting. I guess you call this modern art. But I call it donkey shit on a fucking canvas. <laughs> I, on the other hand, call it a mistake. This sofa is for clients. I often dreamed about having intercourse with my, um, Mia on the couch. <laughs> it's a real luxury model. Bucko, wow. Alright, I guess we can leave. Huh, that's weird. Oh, okay. Right, I better call the police. Nani? That's funny. A few of the screws on the receiver are missing. It looks like someone's halfway through taking it apart. Police! Please, come quick! What was that? Someone screaming from outside the window? She's staring right at me. She's coming right for us. She's holding a phone in her hand. Everything written and she's holding me handwriting. It's a small office, but it makes a good bit of money. Surprisingly, the chief was never good with machines. About all she used this PC for was email and Pornhub. She picked up this ancient model from some garage sale for practically nothing. We can't check her browser history. It's locked. All the chief's important documents are packed in here. This is where she followed her case records and recent rulings. The phone receiver. I better not use it. Oh. A perfectly normal office desk. The chief had a very particular, blah, blah, a very particular policy about office decor. Spend big on the stuff that clients use, but keep your own stuff simple. <laughs> the police sounds like they're coming this way. <laughs> Freeze, police! Oh no, this fucking guy. What kind of voice should I give Detective Gumshoe? <laughs> uh, Alright, I guess it's gotta be a New York cop. <laughs> Alright. I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe, see? Gumshoe? What an odd name. We received a report from the building across the way, see? Got a person saying they saw a murder. It must have been that woman I saw. It's odd that every woman in this universe has gigantic tits. <laughs> She's wearing Morgan's top, too, by the way. Anyway, I don't want either of you moving one inch, okay? I actually hand gestured with that voice. Jesus Christ. Great, just great. Maya, wait, she... have uh, Nah. Whoa! Excuse me. Eek! This word Maya here mean anything to you? Nope, never heard it before in my life. I'm Dad. That's my name. Wow. The victim drew this seeing note in her own blood, see? 
With a dying breath, she wrote down Akila's name. Akila, I'm not... Case closed. You're coming down to the precinct, ma'am. What? 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 <laughs> Mia's younger sister, Maya, was arrested on the spot. I was taken in for questioning and didn't get out until the next morning. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around, waiting for visiting hours to begin at the detention center. At the detention center, stop reading so fast, you fucking moron. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. September 6, 9.07 a.m., detention center, visitor's room. Wow, the airport Maya locked up like a criminal. <laughs> She's only wanted for murder. <laughs> oh, it's you, the lawyer. G good morning. Good morning. She's so tired. Um, are you going to be my attorney? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. I better give it to her straight. It's up to you. Up to me. Yeah, I don't think this is something I should decide. After all, you're the one in trouble here. No fucking way am I putting my future in your hands, asshole. <laughs> They're never going to believe me, are they? Even you, when you found me in the office, you looked at me like I had done it. I look at her like that? No, no, I never thought. No, no. It's okay, I understand. And I've also heard about you. Heard? Heard what about me? Heard you got a big dick. <laughs> I was on talking to my uh, I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. Let's go to the videotape. <clears throat> Today was my junior partner's first time in court. Wow, really? How'd that go? <clears throat> it was quite the scene. Honestly, I was on edge the whole time. It's been a... <laughs> it's, it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while. Ha, ah, so he crashed and burned? <clears throat> He's a genius. One of those strike fear into the hearts of evil types. Got me moist. <laughs> the only thing he's lacking is... Experience. <laughs> huh. Sounds like it was fun. Well, I know who to go to if I ever get into trouble now. I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait. Give him three more years. That is, unless you want to be found guilty. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's what she said. I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you. No, it's okay. It's true, I guess. But... At the same time, I can't just sit by and watch. When I think of the person who did this to Mia... I know. Actually, hold on a minute. Let me examine... Oh, I want to examine her. Smile for the camera. He's got monitors visitors room. He hasn't moved an inch. A real pro, this guy. There's something I've been wanting to ask you. Yes? <laughs> What's with the outfit? Oh, this? I'm a priestess for Akuma. <laughs> this is what all acolytes wear. It's my uniform, you can say. Acolytes? You mean the guys who protected the Undertaker in the 2000s? <laughs> Are you part of the APA? <laughs> acolytes? Like